Right, ladies, um, I think this is part 10. Video 10. <clears throat> It'll probably take this one and maybe one more. Right. <clears throat> While I was in the wooden section at Hobbycraft, I also bought these. And they're the wooden alphabet. And you, they're like tags, so you can hang them. Um, but I just thought they would look distressed. They would look really nice. Uh, either use them individually or using them, um, you know, with a, a word or something. But I just thought they were good. I know I got Julie to get some of these for her, her grandson's mini that she's doing. And um, she hasn't started it yet. I'll have to tell her. Get on with it, girl. Um, I also bought this. Uh, those wooden ones, I think, were £1.29. This one uh, is Princess. A wooden princess. The word princess. You can see how big it is. It's a good 12 inch, 13, 14, yeah, 14 inch maybe. So I got that one and I think that one was 99 pence. I bought these because you know them giant pegs I've got to do? Well, I wanted something big enough for them. I didn't have any more plates, you know, for the background, for the backdrop where the um, pictures can go. But I found these at Hobbycraft and I think these were 69 pence. So the wooden discs, they're six inches, um, six and a half inches across. So I got three of those for the big pegs because um, I'll decorate them right up. Um, and then I also found these as well. I think these were the same price, 69 pence. And these these look great on them pegs. And they are the rectangle six by five. So I got two of those. They only had the two there, so I got those two. Um, right, did I, I showed you this one, didn't I? The, the string. Um, so I managed to get that one, which was two ply. Um, doesn't say how much was on that at all, but there's loads of it. So I managed to get one of those, and they weren't expensive. I think that was only one pound something for that. And oh, I don't think it was, I think it was 79 pence for that. Yeah, so that's that. Now, I found this, um, which was um, 49 pence for a full roll, and it's the fleur de lis, and it, but it's sticky back. Um, Self-adhesive film, so it's just a paper sticky back, which you can cut out as much as you want and put it on whatever you want, so the background of a tag would do. So I thought, well, at that price, you can't go wrong, so I treated myself and got some of that, which I probably cut some of that up and placed them in uh, people's... Um, parcels. Now, a real bargain that I got was perfect, uh, paper perfect, create custom paper. These were for 99 pence, they had them on the sale for 99 pence and it's um, deco art for 99 pence, uh, how many, it's 236 mil, oh you can't, oh can you see it? And you make your own paper. So you flatten it out onto something and make your own paper. And I can't wait to do that because I'm going to colour that and make my own coloured paper. So there was only two there, so I got the two. Create custom paper. Oh, sorry, ladies. So that's what I bought for 99 pence for those big tubs. And I bought what they had, which was two. Definitely want to make my own paper. I've always wanted to do that. I used to do it, but that's a long, long time ago. Also for 99 pence each, I got these, which were the metallic, uh, elegant finish, dark patina, oyster pearl, olive pearl, that looks a lovely green, and then the copper. Sorry, ladies. So I got all of those, and they were 99 pence each. And if you think I've brought the bank, I have. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> well, I've, I needed the stuff in and I thought, you know, for me to create and to keep going, I need to start, you know, buying some equipment in. So I've been out and shopped and got it all. And sod it, I'll have to go on the street for the rent. <laughs> I'll charge him a five. It'll want four ninety nine change. <laughs> oh, there we go. 
<laughs> Don't start me laughing. Well. <laughs> right, I got another one of these, the tacky glue. And um, I think that was uh, only, what was that? One, one pound 20 something, I think. But like you say, I do use that. That's the glue that I use when I mix it with water. So I'll just pour a little bit out of that new bottle in with this one and mix myself another lot, which is what I brush onto my flowers, my card. If, um, when it, if I haven't bought the uh, cushion stuff, then I do it with that and it makes them rubbery and flexible. So even if you don't get, you remember the pink, purple and peach paper I got at Lil's? If you can't, that card, if you can't get that, um, then just do this. Do a mixture of this and paint it onto your flowers when you've punched them out or paint it onto the paper and then punch them out when it's dry and you get the same effect and it holds the flowers and uh, I think the to um, the Toad 78 she uses it all the time it's a tip I gave everybody and it works perfectly and she has done a video on it so um, do it it works I also got some of this which was the clear is it now it we say gesso, you, I'm not sure if you say gesso, but it's completely clear when dry. So I got the Artist Acrylic Gesso. I'm going to say gesso because that's how we say it. Um, so I got a tub of that. Oh, I haven't got, I'm not opening it. Um, for doing the backgrounds that I'm going to be doing. And I can't remember. That was quite expensive, that. I think that was £5, £6 odd for that. A lot, really. Uh, what next? Now, I'll show you these. These are the um, acrylic mediums. I got the modelling paste, the sand textured gel. I also got the structured gel. And I also got the glass bead textured gel. And the reason why I bought them is because, like I say, I am going to be doing all the textures. Uh, with tags. I'm just going to try some new things to do and um, I'll get back to you, to you, let you know. Like I say, um, I'm just having a quick look. Why have they got big lids? I don't get that. Oh, because <laughs> I've got a pouring spout. Look, can you see that? See how it is? That's good. Um, yeah, so, um, like I say, I'm going to be showing you some new techniques. That's quite nice, that one. Because all these can be painted on. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to pop these down because the bag's getting heavy now with those tubs. And, um, oopsie daisy, I'm quite out of the way. I'm quite looking forward to using that lot. Right, it's on 822 already. I will, will have to come back for one more video. I bought these as well. Look at these. It's a box. They were £5 odd for the box. And they are birds. Look at those. Not sure if I'm showing them properly. Aren't they gorgeous? They've got the little wings on. And they're all to go on tags and cards and whatever and books. But you get a whole box of them, and they were five pound odd for the box. Some idiot outside pipping the horn. I'm not sure how many you get actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, four. But you get about fifteen. So that was a good buy, really, for what they are. They're handmade. Right, it's gonna go off. Um, I've just got time to show you these. Now, I bought these. Now, I've never, ever spent this much on beads. and uh, Well, the, they're uh, crystals. You know in the wedding section, you can put them on the tables at, at your wedding. My daughter's getting, my son's getting married, my youngest son in August. And they've bought theirs in clear for their wedding. And these were £9.99 for a box. I'm not sure how many you get in them. The table crystals. But they're going to look gorgeous in projects. So, I mean, look at them, they glisten. And I bought the goldy, or the orangey gold. Be back in a minute, ladies. One more video and I've finished. But uh, fantastic, those. So, and they've got them in every colour. 